We're in Atherston for the start of the second stage of the Aviva Women's Tour. History being made on this second leg for it's the longest in the race's history, 140 kilometres. The weather is very, very damp indeed, and they're expecting heavy showers. Well, the dynamic of today's challenge could be a serious race of selection for the overall positions. Well, the rain has certainly not deterred the enthusiasm of the spectators. They've come out here in their thousands. Look at this now, the pressure really beginning to unfold. It's a downhill sprint here in Kenilworth. On the left is Voss. Voss beginning to wind it up here. And Lepisto in the middle has got the line in her sights. And right behind Lepisto is the yellow jersey there of Mascherus. Well, I'm not going to call the positions that it was too tight. Lepisto definitely first. We'll need to see another shot of that. Talk us through this then, Sarah. Yes, you can see Mariana Voss on the right in her chain reactions points jersey. And Ebba Johansson there on the left. But it's Christy Majerus versus Mariana Voss for that. Well, we'll wait for it. There it is. So Lepisto got the three. But importantly, Majerus has increased her lead over Voss by one second overall. They are now on the foot slopes of the first of the Strava Queen of the Mountains. This is Burton Dassett at 72 kilometres. It's a, a long climb, 2.9 kilometres, quite testing, and I expect the feel to be stretched here to the limit. Yep, and the yellow jersey is also right in the mix here. That's uh, Christine Majuras, the flying Luxemburger. So she's having a good day as well. What a fantastic climb this is. This is sensational racing country as the uh, competitors stretch out here and we've got a lone attack developing at the front. Yes, that's a Rabo live rider. It's likely to be someone like Anna van der Breggen, one of the best climbers of the peloton, and this is good for her, but she usually likes a stronger climb. Well, here is the burst then for the line. It's going to be tight, but right over the line first is uh, Katie Hall and that's a good ride for Hall she's picked up six points there to add to her overnight tally and that means it's stretched out to ten and she's only two behind the leader now there is confirmation Hall gets the six and the rest of the positions you can see but the important uh, point there is the fact that Hall has closed down on the leader and he's now putting her under pressure because she's not in that leading group well, we just got a glimpse of Lizzie Armitstead on the right, and she's trying to lead out her teammate, Majuras, and uh, also in the mix there is Voss. This is very important, this sprint now, and they're going flat out for the line. Oh, look at that! That was Voss that crossed the line first. Remember, she's in the chain reaction uh, cycles points jersey, and we'll wait to see a repeat of that or the caption to confirm, but she was just ahead of Majuras for my call, and let's have a look. Yes, so it means now Voss has clawed back another second, on Majuras, so it's just one second status quo exactly as when they set off in Atherston. Look at the roads here, the flash floods have left puddles. Oh, I said puddles, my goodness me, that's almost like a swimming pool. Well, these two can take their time through it, but what are the bunch going to make of it? That could be quite dangerous. That's not exactly the start you want, is it, on the approach to uh, the final climb of the day? I say final, it's the final categorised climb, but there's still going to be one or two uh, ups and downs that are going to sort the riders out. Well, the two are actually on the climb. Here comes the peloton. Let's see what they're going to make of this. Oh, certain amount of caution creeping into that and uh, the water depth there well well over the rims so Rabo live on the front just happy then to keep the rhythm nice and high and they're looking after Mariana Voss as the summit is right on our shot now and just leading this one out it looks very much like uh, Jadinska Jadinska is going to take it yeah Jadinska is going to go over the line to get six points and in second place it is De Derrickson. but of course it's who is going to get the points behind these two that we uh, want to see and monitor ready for the Queen of the Mountains Yes, that's Anna van der Breger on the front for Rabo Liv, and they've also got two or three riders in that front group. They've done very well here. But look at Katie Hall accelerate. Wow, I can't believe she's still got that in her. Yeah, she's going strongly, isn't she? She's ridden that climb with a great deal of intelligence, and she has uh, timed her effort to perfection. Katie Hall comes over the line in third place and picks up four points. And my quick mathematics tells me now her tally will be 14, so she will have usurped the overnight leader, Kuxma. And uh, behind Hall, you can see it's uh, Koppenberg, uh, Longo Borghini and Lizzie Armitstead. 
it looks like Lizzie Armit said is leading out Christine Majerus. This is fantastic. A bold unstoppable in this race. Amy Peters is also in there as well, and she's a very good classics rider. Coming up now to the closing stages, and it's Brenner that's right in the mix and gritting her teeth and looking for the big tree. But there's a challenge coming on the right, and who is this going to be that's going to take it on the line? Looks like Amy Peters may have got it. Oh, it was almost a blanket finish. The arm was raised by Amy Peters, and uh, we'll wait for that to be confirmed. But Brenner was there as well, and Voss was in the top three. Yeah, that's Brenner on the front on the right hand side leading her out, but look at Peters actually acceleration as they get to the line and Voss she's trying to get there but she just can't make it let's take a look at the head on on the right of our screen Peter snatches the stage Voss in the middle finishes third and the bonus of four seconds gives her the yellow jersey Dutch classic specialist Amy Peters wins stage two second Lisa Brenner and third Mariana Voss and Peter's looking very, very happy with her result today. Katie Hall becomes the new leader in the Strava Queen of the Mountains competition. And the chain reaction points jerseys on the shoulders of Mariana Voss. And she's back in her usual spot as well. She's now the holder of the Aviva yellow jersey. Mariana Voss is the new leader after two days. She has a three-second advantage over Christine Majuras. And in third spot is Amy Peters at seven seconds. Lizzie Armitstead is the leading British competitor, eighth place at 16 seconds.